All right, YouTubers, how's it going? I've no idea where this video is going to be um, because I get a few comments saying do some cooking videos and that. I've cut down a lot recently, but uh, I found some uh, chicken mints in the fridge. Um, there's not much in here, to be honest. Really cut down. Um, yeah, there's hardly any food in there. So, um, yeah, found some chicken mints. Going to put a bit of mustard with it, a bit of the uh, hot sauce with it, um, garlic seasoning, mixed herbs, and some black pepper, and just, yeah, a stock cube, and uh, see what it tastes like, really. So, got a cup of coffee, and uh, to finish it, a couple of scratch cards, and yeah, just going to make a load of little random meals like I've been doing recently, and uh, that's quite a lot of mints, but the uh, used, used date was... Um, uh, 29th of November, it's now the 1st, and uh, yeah, why not use it? So, I'm, I probably should wash my hands after touching the uh, chicken, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, wash my hands. Well, I'm basically going to mix all this up and see how it turns out, to be honest. I'm going to start stirring and uh, jump this camera. Is, uh, this is on a very high heat and it's making a hell of a lot of noise. So I'll see you in a bit. I do wonder if this is going to be a complete fail. Um, I kind of wish I had some Lee and Perrin's uh, sauce, but I don't. I can't think of anything else to add to sort of give it a bit more liquid. I don't really want to put any more oil in it. That's quite a lot of chicken in it. This is probably all I'm going to have for the whole day though, so... I don't know, what's this, about six, 700 calories, maybe more with the, the extras. I'm going to bung the stock cube in. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll put, probably put the mustard in towards the end. And just mix it up. You know what, I never used to like mustard. But, uh... Something about it, it's... Uh, really grown on me. I do have a bit too much though where it just absolutely um, burns my nose but apparently I read up that's quite good for you. So yeah it's an interesting sensation. Oh that stock cube is melting quite nicely actually and the, the chicken's starting to cook so this is so random. I was nearly going to have, let's quieten down a bit as well, that's good. I was nearly going to have eggs, corned beef, um, and mustard, and then I just saw this chicken in there, which was going out of date. And before it starts smelling in the fridge, I thought, why not? Um, actually, smells not too bad with that stock cube in there. Yeah, get in there, right? So while that's cooking, I'll do the two scratch cards, and uh, then I'll add these uh, seasonings. Coffee is a uh, still a bit paranoid about my hand to be honest. <laughs> Just uh, make sure that's fully washed with the chicken. Never been Ill, Ill from food poisoning, but I don't want to be because I've heard it's absolutely horrible. Really tempted to put that bit of garlic in there. That's sitting there, feeling sorry for itself in the corner, but um, yeah, I'm gonna pass for now. I might have it maybe with the corned beef and eggs. Um, maybe tomorrow, if I have that tomorrow, I'm not sure. Eggs last a while, I only bought them yesterday. Corned beef lasts, well, years. Um, in a tin. And, uh, oh, I was going to have some sardines as well. And I was going to have eggs, corned beef, sardines and mustard, yeah. Sardines as a sort of side. And that chicken is looking uh, actually quite good. So, yeah, I'll do these two scratch cards and I'll add the seedling in. Get fruity, I've had these sitting around a while. Um, be nice to get a winner. You never know. Here we go. Winning symbols on the first one is the lemon, lime, and pie. No, no winners on the first one. No lemon, lime, or pie, and no fingers crossed. So second and last one. Pineapple, lime, and banana. No, no winners there either. No winners there. Pineapple, no. Yeah, that was just two. I've got, I've got quite a lot of scratch cards actually lying around, which I was sort of uh, 
um, just saving really, so I will do them at some point, so uh, stay tuned, excuse the mess, as always, um, yeah, I'll uh, do them at some point, uh, this has about five more minutes left, I don't know if I should give it a bit of extra, because you've got to be careful with chicken, <sighs> it should really have something with this, but like I say, I am cutting down, um, I put on half a stone while I was away, and uh, yeah, well, I'll probably go for a walk later and burn this off, even though it's bloody cold outside. A bit slippery under the old foot, you know. Well, I'm going to add, um, let's add this uh, hot sauce, just a tiny bit, doing this one-handed. I'm going to add a tiny bit of this. That'll probably do it. Probably use the whole bottle, but I'll save the other half for another time. Mix that in. See, oh yeah, I can smell it. Whoa. That uh, smells. It's going to turn the heat down just a, just a couple of notches. Yeah, that smells um, spicy. And what else we got? We've got some mixed herbs. Put some mixed herbs in. Quite a lot of mixed herbs, why not? Some garlic seasoning. Quite a lot of garlic, I do like garlic. Uh, I've got to grind this in one second. Right, peppers in, give this a stir. How basic is this? Basic, bodged and budget. Why not? It's just the mustard now, I've got three more minutes. I hope I don't get ill. If, if there's a clip after this where I sell our mill and I haven't cooked it. It actually smells really nice. I know it's just chicken, but with the mustard, that'll have a real kick to it. I'll probably have quite a lot of mustard. Should I put a bit of white wine vinegar in? Will that make any difference? Let's put a tiny bit in. Just a dash. Just a dash. I know my cooker needs a clean as well. There's so much going on. I haven't got a cleaner. I know some comments they get a cleaner. I know I probably should. For the sake of a few quid every couple of weeks or something, but... Plate. Right, I'm just going to... Um, oh, wait a couple of minutes and then turn down the heat. Um, add the mustard and then probably add a bit of mustard on top actually so I'm going to give this one quick blast and then I'm going to turn off the heat when it's done add the mustard one last uh, bang add mustard on top and enjoy that whatever that dish is called that's called the chicken mince budget bodged um, with a few random bits put in I guess quality Right, are you ready for this? Will I regret this? One. And two. That's how I do like mustard these days. There we go. Let's put it over there. Give that a mix in. Oh, it's... Maybe I should have done that after. <laughs> it's clumped up a bit, but... Oh, no. It's actually it's going alright now. Oh, this will be interesting. This will be very interesting. Okay, well that looks very yellow. It smells very mustardy. Um, probably come off the heat now. So some more this coffee. Yeah, I don't know if I want to actually add any more mustard on top. I think that's. I think that's enough. I might have overdone that actually. I might have overdone that. Some one-handed... Uh... Yeah, so away the hot sauce goes, and the mixed herbs, and the seasoning. Uh, nothing else I can add on top, is there really? No. I'm not going to put mayonnaise or anything on top, that would just be absolutely ridiculous. No, honestly, it's Old Mother Hubbard at the minute, there's nothing in my cupboards. Um, yeah, I've been cutting down on the drink and everything, to be honest, so... Look, are you ready for this? You ready? You ready? Oh, we have... Meatballs and gravy. 
That's it. That's literally it. I had a sort out of this. I will do a big shop at one point, uh, at some point, sorry, but yeah, it's just, um, you know what, it's money as well, to be honest, at the prices, like, I know you can shop around and that, but I do usually go to Tesco's and prices have just, it's madness, like, if you just, you don't check and you just blip, blip, blip away on that scanner thing, it's ridiculous, I think they spend like three or four hundred quid in there, for not much to show for it really, I think it's more like the principle, anyway, let's stick this on the plate. Should I have one, one taste on camera with the mustard spoon? It's going to be strong. How does it look? It kind of looks like rice, doesn't it? And by the way, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Um, I'll, I'll try and upload this this month because, yeah, I know I've been a bit quiet. Um, there's a few reasons. I'll, I'll, I'll update at some point, but, yeah, as much as I'd love to do some live streams, and that, I just can't at the minute. Um, and... Wonderfully, my bank card got cloned again last night. Had a bloody message from um, my bank saying, "Was this transaction new?" I was like, "No." And I heard the horror stories of this happening to other people. On the, it's my fault initially. I got done on a website which looked legit, and it wasn't. Um, they anyway, my card got cloned. Got a new card, and loads of people on the reviews said, "Oh, the scammers managed to get my new card as well." And I thought, "Oh, it's been like two months. It's obviously not going to happen." So I turned off my block thing on the app for remote payments and last night, yeah, they tried to charge 93 quid. Um, it's a company set up in the US as well. Or they were trying to charge in US dollars. It might not be in the US, but yeah, so that was annoying. So now my card's blocked again and that's the card I use for all my sites. And yeah, I'll have to probably switch bank, which is going to be annoying. But oh well, that's when I do play online again. Um, anyway, let's try this with the mustard. Here we go. Here we go. That's quite a lot of mustard, isn't it? Don't want to put any salt on top. I've already done pepper. Let's get a bit more chicken. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Try and keep the phone away from my mouth. No one wants to hear the noises. Even I don't like hearing people eat. Mmm. As a quick bit of edible food, that's actually quite good to be honest. Actually, I'm, I'm tempted to add a bit of mustard on top after that because that actually worked quite well. Um, there was a lot of mustard on that spoon, and uh, yeah, I hear that mustard is very good for you. So why not? Let's have some. Uh, let's have some dashes of it. Um, yeah, it's kind of sticky. So put a bit in the middle so I get a bit of extra kick. So one more before I sign off. Yeah, maybe I'll do these silly little um. Hmm. Apologies, silly little uh. Quick budget. Knocked up in. Oh, this was about about fifteen minutes. Knocked up in ten fifteen minutes. Meals. Perhaps I'll add my idea onto the uh, end of this video. The next one. Um, eggs, corned beef, sardines, and uh, mustard. Just had a, just got a real craving for like just like eggs and mustard like lately. You know, um, I've gone off my phase of having toast every day and mm, switching the carbs for protein. That's uh, something that's really been working lately. So, anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, appreciate all comments. We'll get back to them all, or at least read them all. And I'm now going to go and watch some TV before probably heading out into the lovely, lovely cold weather. Well, there's a lot worse things going on there, so I shouldn't complain really. But I'm definitely not going to complain in the summer because I'll definitely choose summer over winter. Probably said this a hundred times before, but anyway, much love over and out. Until the next one, get in there. Alright, next part of the video, I'm just going to do a couple more scratch cards. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't planning to uh, find a diamond, by the way. I wasn't planning to get a pizza tonight, but I've been convinced it is Saturday night. So, a bit of a cheat, as I said I was uh, cutting down recently. But, as it's December, if you win, multiply, yeah, we haven't won. 
As it's December, I thought I'd try the Domino's, the festive one. So when it arrives, I'll give you my review. Winning number 12, 14, 29. No, 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 no. All right, second card. So I've got a few of these cards, so stay tuned. I know they're not the most exciting of things, but you never know. I've got, like I said, I bought a few, so if there's some winners, that's a bit of money back in time for Christmas, possibly. Even though I'll do the Christmas shopping before I scratch the scratch cards. And there's no winner on that one. Right, so coming up next is Domino's, the festive one. We'll see what it's like. Right, the pizza's arrived, and we've also got Boots here, who is a stray cat who likes to visit now and then. I think it's a bit cold for him, so he's decided to come in for some food. He has just eaten some food. Um, I'll probably give him some more in a minute. Yep, Boots, Boots. He's a bit nervous because he's stray. Right, so this festive one, uh, whichever one it's in, um, I did just quickly look at the website. So we've got, here we go. Is that it? That is it. I was expecting a bit more colour, but anyway, onions, uh, pulled sage and onion turkey, cranberry drizzle, uh, sausage, smoked bacon rashes, tomato sauce and mozzarella. Um, I don't know if this is, this isn't the large, is it? It's not the large. Oh, it is the large. Wow, apparently about 2,000 calories in this. Jesus. Well, I'm only going to have about half of this tonight um, with some of this dip. And uh, probably fast tomorrow to burn that off and go for a walk. So I will do the egg corned beef mustard um, probably on uh, Monday because it's Saturday night at the minute. Yeah, I'm just watching I'm a Celebrity. And also in this one, I can't remember what, what pizza this is. Um, another one here. Uh, this is... Some spicy one, I think. Oh, chicken veg. Yeah, yeah. Very unhealthy, very fast foody, but uh, as a one-off treat, and maybe I'll give her boots some as well. So, yeah, get in there. Next clip will be the corned beef egg um, knocked up quick meal. Well, I've obviously got to give it a bit of review. I, I forgot about that, so I'll put a tiny bit of this. Uh, sauce on this uh, what is it garlic and herb oh that's the texas barbecue yeah remember the name now so this is the festive one i'm sure people have had this before but i've never tried it so uh one second i'm just gonna get a better angle all right here we go so yeah bit of uh i like stuffing but i'm not i've never had it on a pizza oh and you can see the cranberry uh drizzle on the box oh that just tastes like sort of Excuse the noises. Just um, stuffing and jam with cheese and onion and yeah, dough basically. Does that work? It's kind of like a yeah. It's, a, it's an odd combination, but they, all the flavours sort of come in at different times. It's a so it's a bit weird actually, but so it starts off like. Kind of sweet, you get the stuff in, there's a bit of sausage there and a bit of bacon there, so yeah, it's, it's edible, so I'll enjoy that or half of it and fast tomorrow and go for a walk to burn it off. And yeah, next clip is definitely the corned beef, egg, and uh, mustard dish. And one last look at boots, I'm going to give him some more food because he's obviously very, very hungry. All right, thanks for watching. Get in there, literally advertising it on TV as well. I've rewound it, of course. Look at this. Oh, come all ye peckish. The festive one returns to Domino's. With pulled turkey, cumberland sausage, and a cranberry drizzle. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As I say, um, here's some of it. I've got the Texas barbecue chicken one as well. Yeah, it's um interesting combination. I wouldn't say it's one of their best ones. Um... Yeah, probably just a bit of a um, a novelty <clears throat> at Christmas time, having a Christmas pizza. But yeah, it's edible, so uh, it's all good. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with I'm a Celebrity. Oh, that comes on next. 
Alright, so just a little update. It is now the 4th of December. Uh, yesterday I said I was going to fast and I pretty much nearly did because of the dominoes the night before. Um, but I ended up slipping up just a little bit. I was in the co-op about 8pm and uh, yesterday was Sunday and they had loads of reduced sandwiches and there was a prawn and mayo one there for like 40p. Um, so I couldn't resist and I was planning to have it today but last night I was watching the snooker final um, obviously Sullivan's eighth um, win oh, that was a good watch that was and then I watched I'm a Celebrity afterwards I did slip up a little bit I ended up having like five beers and two ciders over the course of like eight hours so it weren't too bad I've been trying to keep off the drink lately but yeah over the space of eight hours that's all right really so um, but yeah, I, I got a craving for the prawn and mayo sandwich and I had that with some mustard. So that's all I had yesterday. And uh, just had half a tuna roll with mustard. I'm just going to have a cup of tea actually. And this is an update tonight. Um, probably be having chicken curry. i uh, got some rice and some chicken from the butcher. So I might do that as a little... Uh, sort of added on video to this uh, yeah just in the mood of uh, doing a couple of videos um, updating on my current weird diet I suppose and then tomorrow I've got another bargain some egg noodles I've got some salad here I know it's sort of going out of date but it'll last I've got reduced cucumber look picking up the bargains 13p um, got another one here um, not so much of a bargain, 58p. Um, I think this one needs to be eaten first, actually, before that one, but I don't know. Um, good for uh, hydration, I suppose. So, yeah, tomorrow, instead of the corned beef egg and all that, I was going to say, I might have the egg noodles with some salad, with corned beef, with a couple of boiled eggs, and just mix it all up, really, and see if that works. Um, yeah, stir fry. I'll probably microwave it and then just put the corned beef and eggs and just mix it all up with a bit of mustard, I suppose. That'll work, wouldn't it? So that'll be tomorrow's um, tomorrow's meal. Uh, so yeah, today it's just going to be chicken curry later. And I'll, I'll film a bit of that um, for what it's worth, of course. Um, and, yep, uh, just to add on. Big, look at that for a big mug. That's a good mug, that is. Make me a cuppa. And I'm just going to have a tiny, tiny bit of brown sugar and a tiny bit of nutmeg with that. Um, I've started to put like a little bit of nutmeg or a tiny bit of cinnamon in the tea. And uh, yeah, looked it up as a thing. I'm just putting random ingredients and like random stuff lately. And it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of working. And yeah, I know I need to throw out the cloves on the breakfast bar counter whatever you want to call it I don't use it for eating on so these, these are all clean clothes by the way it's just they just need sorting out but yes two scratch cards with pressures coming in uh yeah so as I say I've got a bunch of these sitting around so another two for the video uh four top prize of one million hundred x never seem to win on these though apart from the odd fiver um well yeah, that happens anyway with any card, really, doesn't it? But and full of thousands, I would love to see a thousand or five hundred. You know, the full of five hundreds. I'd love to see one. I've, I've seen other people get them, but I've never had one myself. So we're gonna scratch, scratch, see what happens, and then after this, it might be the curry, and then tomorrow it'll be the egg noodles, etc. And I think that'll be it for this little mini series of what's hyper eaten random food combinations etc so actually this tea is pretty much brewed so just for a bit of effect bung the old milk in put that in the fridge it's quite clean this fridge oh, I did actually buy some more mints I don't know if we've seen that um, oh yeah six I had the mints at the start didn't I at the start of this video I ate the mints and I thought I'd replace it because, um, yeah. Oh, I bought some ginger beer as well. Got a load of ginger beer in. 
um, had that delivered um, and yeah because I'm missing oh, oh there's another beer in here I missed that one last night because I'm missing Vegas a bit yeah Fiji water it's like everywhere over there every restaurant bloody room and yeah <laughs> right cup of tea tea bag color looks really different on camera it looks well how it should in real life it looks sort of like you know a bit lighter um have some uh, brown sugar oh i'm making a mess of that and I? i've done it the wrong way brown sugar yeah i don't have a pot or anything bachelor life what's this yeah it's nutmeg in it tiny bit of nutmeg it's supposed to be good for you, isn't it? There we go, done. Boom. Cut the teas done. Put that in there. Bit of a mess in there, isn't it? Probably showing that already. Right, let's see if we get a winner. There we go, first card. Also, I got asked recently, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm ready for Christmas. I'd say I'm about 60% there. I've ordered a turkey. Uh, reserved from a local farm, um, one for here and one for my parents, the residue there, and I've just got to send a couple of bits off to people, um, presents wise I'm pretty much there, I'm just waiting for a couple of things to arrive, and really I'm just looking forward to having a few drinks in the meal to be honest, so yep, 60% there, uh, it's now the 4th so I've got a couple of weeks, uh, it doesn't look like we've won on this card, and uh, 7, 32, 26, 36, bit of glare, 53, 18, 6, 43, 28, 31, and 38. No point scratching the rest off because we haven't won. And moving on to the full of a thousands. So it's just find the fingers crossed, find a double double, or find a diamond. Okay, here we go. Yes, I was about to say, um, and had one winner yet on this video, but there we go. There's the fingers crossed. All right, I'll just do the rest, and then uh, if there ain't no more, reveal, reveal the fiver, or the tenner, or the fifteen, or the twenty. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I can just see a bit of five there. I reckon it's gonna be a ten pound card. The suspense, the suspense, two fingers crossed. Yeah, it's just two. It's just two. What are we guessing? Ten pound or fifteen pounds? I'm gonna guess a tenner. I might be no, nah, it's a tenner. I can see the five. And there's five, yeah. Ten pound. Woo hey, hey. get in there. Ten pound. Well there's the first winner. I gotta find that code thing. Let me just find that quickly. And there's the code. Oh, got a dodgy camera on this phone. Need an upgrade, really, but yeah, I just can't bother, you know. Bloody phones. Um, quite happy with this one. This is probably the worst phone I've ever had, actually, the S21. Um, I thought the S8 was way better. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not massively into phones, as long as the camera works and that, and yeah. Um, I'm happy, so, well, I say that as long as the camera works. It works, but only on certain zooms. There was a big, um, look at this, look, 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 I'll hoover later. There was a big, um, probably hoover that in a minute, actually. <laughs> There's a bigger design flaw or manufacturing defect on you know, the S21s. Loads of, comp uh, loads of people complaining about the, uh, the lens not zooming in and out correctly, and yeah, uh, happened on my brothers, happened on this one, so yeah, Samson not doing a very good job there, or whoever they were using to make certain models or whatever, but who cares, there's a lot worse things going on in life than a, f oh yeah, and tomorrow I'll probably have, probably have this spinach as well, 2nd of December, it needs to be a, look, 15p bargain, that needs to be done, so what I'll do is tomorrow I'll have, definitely have the egg noodles, spinach, Corned beef, eggs, mustard, all mixed in. It'll probably look absolutely horrible. And um, with some spices and seasoning. 
and that'll be my meal tomorrow yeah so decided i do need to eat this spinach though um yeah it'll be the fifth tomorrow wouldn't it keep in fridge oh balls that would have helped there you go it's in there now i, did, I didn't even realize you're supposed to keep it in there oh, of course you are yeah it's in the chilled section whoops that's probably why it's got a bit sweaty Oh well, that'll still be edible. If I get ill, it won't affect anyone else other than me, will it? So, um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, a bit of jam. I've been having oats lately. I've actually never used to like oats, but yeah, uh, oats with a bit of. Uh, there's the corned beef for tomorrow. Ooh. Oats with a bit of jam, that really works. Um, so, I used to have oats, well, a long time ago, I used to have oats, and I'd always put like sugar in it. And as I say, I don't, I don't, I just can't get on with it. But with jam, it works. So it's supposed to be quite good for your oats, isn't it, as well? Yeah, I'm just switching it from, you know, I've, I've, like I said, I've really cut down on, like, bread, um, toast. I used to eat so much toast. Like, four slices a day, it's just not good for you. It really isn't good for you. Um, very bloaty as well, isn't it? So, anyway, there we go. All right. Until later, with the chicken curry. Good, isn't it? So just an update, um, this is becoming an actual food diary video now. Um, why am I doing this? I don't know. Well, I know why I'm doing it, because there's comments saying do a cooking video and that, but this is, yeah, this is literally becoming a diary now, so. <laughs> um, yeah, before the curry, uh, as I said earlier, I had half a roll, um, haven't had anything since, but I did just go out for a walk and I've now driven somewhere I need to go. And uh, yeah, a couple of good songs come on the radio. We had uh, Dolly Parton, 9 till 5, and then I couldn't believe it, Patrick Hernandez, Born to Be Alive, came on. It's like, bloody hell, talk about Vegas vacation vibes, get in there. Yeah, there's something about going out for a walk and then just a nice drive and a couple of good tunes coming on. Um, yeah, getting into the old, uh, oh, the zoom's a bit off there. Um, that does say greatest hit. There we go. Greatest hits radio. I told him my camera was dodgy. Greatest hits radio. Yeah, some really good, um, I don't know, just, just, yeah, like old school and just lots of 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s stuff going on. Just a mixture, really. And even the ads don't annoy me because I can just turn it down and then whack it back on when the music comes on. But yeah, the reason for the update, just been to the shop. Like I said, it's becoming a food diary. Um, 6 p.m. I went in there and I purely went in just to get a drink. Um, I chose Mountain Dew, why not? And I basically downed this to be honest. I, don't, I just had a craving for sugar after the walk because I basically haven't eaten anything all day apart from that half a roll, which I didn't show. Oh, we're gonna get copyright. Um, oh, Hotel California though. Um, I might, I might listen to that after I stop this video on quick. Um, yeah, so I went in the shop just to get a drink really and uh. Yeah, I thought 6 p.m. Nothing's going to be reduced, but boom, we have a couple of bargains. Um, brie and cranberry. Look, one pound. Can you go wrong? One pound for a sandwich. Honestly, I'm on a bit of a winning streak with this shop at the minute. I reckon, you know, besides the fuel, obviously, that would obviously add up. Um, I'm passing that shop anyway most days. I reckon I could probably live off at the minute if they keep reducing stuff a fiver a day if I wanted to. Obviously, I'm not going to, because, um, you know, just, they might not always have stuff reduced. I'm not I'm not always passing there, but honestly, look at this, look, right, one pound. And this, this would get reduced even lower if no one bought it, because, you know, used by 4th of December, which is today. Um, if I went in there at, like, half eight, they'd reduce this even more. Um, and also picked up, oh, also picked up... Um, British pork ham and cheese, uh, smoked ham, soft cheese, cheddar and lettuce on a white tortilla wrap, 91 pence, reduced from 295, like how many, how many calories are in this? Um, 400 calories in that, and calories in this one is another 400, it's like 800 calories for two pounds, and also I got some more corned beef, which wasn't reduced, and and some uh, roasted and salted cashews, which I don't know if I'll have these these tonight because um, I'm having the curry, which will be next, by the way. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd update. I'm actually going to eat these now because I'm a bit hungry and I've got about three hours till the curry, so I might do I'm, I might do a little mini review on how these taste. If it was it worth the pound, um, was it worth the 91p? Anyway, that was the update. 
Curry next, and we'll listen to uh, the rest of Hotel California. Here we go. Look at this for a professional video. So, <laughs> right, um, yeah, I'm going to try the uh, ham and cheese um, tortilla wrap. I'll just get this open. I, I wish I had some mustard, but um, I'm not at home at the minute. So, um, yeah, I know this is a bit pointless, but uh, why not? I'm literally, I'm in the rhythm of um, just, yeah, recording right there. That needs some mustard. That really needs some mustard. And that actually doesn't feel like there's a lot in it, if I'm honest. Um, mm. So what is it? Ham and cheese. What does it smell like? Uh, cheese. One sec, I'll give you my review in a minute. Right, yeah, bringing you back, yeah. Um, for a quid, for a quid, you can't knock it. I would not pay two ninety five for that, though. Um, if it had some mustard, I'd usually say mayonnaise, but I've just got an addiction to, well, not an addiction, like a phase craving for mustard at the minute, as you're probably gathered throughout this video. Um, if I had some mustard, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, not bad. For 91p, you can't knock it. Obviously, the uh, tortilla um, is going to be a bit bloaty, but... Anyway, next, after I've finished this, we'll move on to the French brie and cranberry. Oh, with spinach and mayo on malted bread. Get in there, one pound five. Right, here we go. Yep, that definitely needed mustard. I'll have the other one in a minute. Right, let's have a look at this. This one's got a lot more cranberry in it, the left one. I don't even see that. No, you probably can't actually. Let me uh, just angle it. It looks like there's a lot more cranberry in the left one. Whether that's just the way it looks, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's actually open this one up. I have just washed my hands as well, for what it's worth. Um, just because I've been like... Yeah, touching things in shops, and can we see that there? It doesn't look particularly apt. It looks like it's been slapped together in like 10 seconds. It probably has, isn't it? What is it? Brie and cranberry. Right, here we go. Right, give me a minute. Yeah, I prefer the, um, I prefer the ham and cheese, if I'm honest. I'm not a massive fan of brie. It's kind of, um, yeah, if I'm honest, that's all I can really taste. There's there's a subtle bit of cranberry in there, but I'm not really sure what the spinach is doing in there. Can't really taste it. I think that's just for a bit of texture. Well, yeah, if I had to choose, I would choose the ham and cheese well over that and that was cheaper that was um yeah over uh what was it one pound one pound five for 91p my match is so bad on this spot i'm not even going to attempt to work it out um which sounds utterly ridiculous um 14p, there we go. <laughs> That's when I've got it wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Oh, I can taste the spinach now. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. The left one does not work. Weird combo. A um, bit like that Domino's pizza. Weird combo, but the Domino's pizza worked. The Christmas Christmas festive one, whatever it was called. Um, that actually doesn't work. The Domino's pizza was a novelty, but still edible. I don't like that. But like I said, I'm not a massive fan of brie, so... Yep, give me the ham and cheese any day. Anyway. Really silly, I know, me eating a sandwich. Um, <clears throat> why not? It's, like I said, it's a food diary. Once I've done the curry, and then my noodles, corned beef thing, 
um, I'll call it. And if, if by some uh, um, strange, um, if I get a spark of inspiration in the future, I might, I might do another one of these. Um, if, if this video gets over a thousand views, then that'll probably give me some inspiration to do another one, just for a laugh. Why not? Yeah. Eating random food items, good in there. Right, I'm gonna have this last breeze sandwich and then save the best till last. And then it's curry time once I get home. Get in there. Okay, here we go. The start of the chicken curry. Is this all going in, all this stuff? Some of it's in the rice, some of it's What, the, what the, the cinnamon and the... Yeah, that's the cinnamon is only for flavouring the rice. Right, okay. We're starting the chicken curry. Uh, bought a few things at Tesco's. Um, yes, I did go to Tesco's. Uh, some Most of this we already had, though, so... Uh, yeah, I've got butter there. Scales, because we've got to be very precise with the rice to water, volume, etc. Uh, are we using this massa? No. We're not using that. That's for tortillas at some point, isn't it? All right, tikka masala paste, sharwoods. I've uh, got to dice the, there's Buddy, get in there. Got to dice the chicken in a minute into fine pieces. Still haven't got rid of that, those clothes yet. Um, Precious is also looking very interested. And uh, yeah, just gonna, just yeah, keep, uh, cut in this video and um, yeah, show you the final outcome really. So, chicken curry, uh, tikka masala with various spices and herbs, etc. Right, just dicing the chicken, 600 grams worth. Got a bit of a nightmare here. Um, yeah, just uh, opened this bottle um, of beer, which hasn't gone well at all. Uh, I don't know why it's fizzing. Probably because it's very alcoholic. Um, that's what is going on there. Anyway, this is called the Backwards Bastard. Um, and for some reason, it's just completely foaming. Uh, barrel aged. Never tried this before. I bought these for Christmas, but my chef's going to have one. I'm going to have a little taste first. So 11%. Um, expect lovely warm smells. That's if there's any left after all this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I should have poured this into a glass already, shouldn't I? Let me get a glass quickly. All right, here we go. Let's pour some of this. I'm expecting a, a, a very dark color. It's mostly just bubbles. Oh my God. I don't know if I can drink that. That stinks. That smells almost like scotch, which I think actually it was, um, yeah, there you go. Smells of single malt scotch. Oaky bourbon, bourbon barrels, sweet caramel, roasted malts, a bit of earthy spice, and a scintilla, something I can't pronounce, of dark fruit. It's a kickback sipper made to excite the palate. Bottled on the uh, 14th of October, 2021. Wow, do no one buy these? Like, has this been sitting around for ages and just got shaken up and very interesting looking guy on there as well. Uh, made by founders or brewed by founders. I think they put their uh, name on the cap as well. Yeah, they did. Founders Brewery. I'm not a massive fan of scotch. Almost looks like a like a coffee or something with all the froth. Look, black coffee. Oh, that honestly, that smells just. Yeah, I'm gonna try a tiny sip. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Uh, tiny sip. Uh, that's uh, not what I was expecting. But does actually taste like a strong coffee. I could probably sip that. Um, don't know how many units are in it. It doesn't actually say. Um, I don't even know where they're brewed. It's usually they have units on it. Just a bit of Dyson going on there. Uh, yeah, that's uh, drinkable, but I'm not going to drink it because it's for my chef. So, uh, would you like it in a glass or instead keep it in the bottle? You don't mind. All right. All right, jump it. Yeah, um, tiny sip. I didn't vomit, so yeah.
backwards bastard. Maybe maybe it's a bit better if you chill it. But it definitely does taste strong. All right, the chicken is now diced and we're now going on to the rice. Obviously the main sauce. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna do uh, three of these scratch cards. We're measuring out the rice, we have exactly 400 grams. All right. Hang on, wait. It, what is it? If yours, There's if a bit your, of a glare. if yours, if your number is greater than their number, Let me move a bit to the left. Right. What here? More. Yeah, that should be a slight. I think if you angle it, then like if I put this like that, how am I getting so much glare? Like you're hot. There we go. You're, you're, honestly, you're. No, no, that's camera, good. That's you're good. doing this on purpose, like you did last time. The, the, no, this look, is because there's, there's lights there. everywhere, no, man. See if you go over here. Look, there's lights everywhere. Then you have to get like. Why is there so much light? There never usually is. How about that? Is that better? No, because it's, it's that. It's too dark though. Yeah. Oh, you've left this on record. Oh, sorry about that, we're just having some lighting issues and I accidentally left the record thing on, so I don't know what I'll edit out of that. All right, would you like to hold this and I will scratch away. So basically, if your number uh, is greater than their number, there we go, 32, 35, six and 10, 27, 34, 14, 21, 36, 37, close. 08, 12, 17, 20, 04, 11, 18, 24, 25, 31, 34, 38. It's going to be none of these, is it? No, none of them. Our winning symbol is boat, gold key, film, sunglasses, in a row, match two identical. No, and find a fingers crossed. Uh, I'm not going to scratch the other two live, I will scratch them and show you the result, because this is quite tedious. Right, no winners on the first one. Right, moving on to the next two, which I'll just jump and show you the result. On the second one, if yours weighs more than theirs, 36, 34. Here we go, here we go. Five pound, it's a winning card, right, winning symbol. I'm doing this on my own. Uh, winning symbol is sunglasses. We have stack, gold cup, and the tree. Um, I'll just scratch these off and these off, see if there's any more than a fiver. Yeah, it's just a fiver. Um, so just at the bottom there, yeah, 36 beats 34. And the winning symbol's glasses. No too much there, and no fingers crossed there. So five pound money back card. Moving on to the last one, and carry on with the curry. All right, last card, no winners, just double check. You always got to double check. No, it's not looking good. Winning symbol, watch, and match two, and no fingers crossed. There we go, so out of three cards, one winner, if you can call that a winner, your money back. Right, it's taking a bit of butter into the saucepan and some more into the saucepan. Just gonna wait till that's all heated. The flame there. That's oh, not really a flame, is it? Heat. I always find it funny on the camera, it looks so pink, but it's like red in yeah. It's probably just it's, a screen. It's red in person. No, it, it will just look pink on the video, I think. I made a cup of tea earlier and it looked um, completely different on screen compared to obviously what it looks like in real life. Fun fact. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if my zoom works, yep. Rice is going in. And here comes the water. How much water? Milliliters? 800. 800 milliliters for 400 grams of rice. Oh, now we're just going to let that boil, I guess. I'm just gonna have a ginger beer. Not well, a lot we... of that, but look up something. <laughs> Maybe. Let's go have a ginger beer while whilst uh, cooking. Not alcoholic, because I had a couple last night. I was watching the snooker, and uh, yeah, I'm a celebrity. Oh yeah, Frankie was um, first to go out, wasn't he? 
quite surprised by that actually, so he seemed pleased enough. Ginger beer. Let's put that in the freezer, give it a bit more of a chill. Probably waiting, gonna waiting for the war to heat up. Adding them in about a second. Add the herbs and spices next. Alright, in goes some uh, sizzling tikka. Contains all these things. Uh, contains all those, there you go, ingredients. They're very critical for the flavouring of the rice. There we go, then goes that. Oh, it's changed the colour, hasn't it? Oh yeah, the rice will be... Oh, you can smell that, oh. Oh, wow. wait till I add the rest of it in. Oh, that looks... That's one thing is that you can't describe the smell. Oh my god, that looks weird on the... Look, look at zoomed in, look how weird that looks. Okay, a bit of cinnamon. Bit of cinnamon, there you go, dash, dash of cinnamon. Some sweet cinnamon, just a tiny bit. Tiny bit of sweet cinnamon. Coriander. Coriander. Cumin. Cumin powder, isn't it? Uh, some of this. Uh, medium curry powder. And the only thing I'm adding it is because it's one of the few things that has turmeric in, which is uh, oh, yeah. quite important. It's good for you as well, isn't it? It's hard, my camera is so fussy these. There we go. In goes that. What was that, a teaspoon? Yeah, I might add a bit extra later. Oh, it's bubbling bubbling away quite nicely now. Let's turn down the heat. Good oh, paprika. Paprika going in. Garlic salt. Garlic salt going in. Garlic granules for that extra garlicky flavour. Yeah. I did buy some garlic if you want any. That'll go, the fresh garlic will go in the curry. Mixed herbs. Mixed herbs. Do, do we usually add all this? I do, yeah. Okay. Uh, some chilli powder. Yeah. Only a tiny bit of this one. Well, I'm, I'm training myself to... And then for the actual kick, some cayenne chilli. Yeah. This this nice. is actually the spicy stuff. I never used to like spicy things, but I'm actually getting used to them now. And that is a real thing. Classic where you black pepper. You can train yourself to um, become accustomed to spicy foods so you feel less heat. Obviously nothing crazy, like it would still burn. And, and uh, some of this chilli explosion, which is mainly uh, just... Some paprika chili, some mustard seed, oh, mustard. A, a bit of tomato, black pepper, and chipotle extract. I don't like mustard. Not gonna add too much of this because I feel like it might ruin the flavor. Uh, should we actually add some mustard? Uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And a tiny bit of this just because uh, I bought it on impulse. Yeah, only a tiny bit. I tried it, I don't think it'll work, but no. so all that's now added. And now stir it in a bit and then we'll put on the lid and that. Let that simmer, simmer for yeah. uh, about 15 minutes. Oh, it looks like a soup. There we go. Well, no, you were supposed to describe the smell. Um, it smells like a mixture Cause it, cause of... it'll be very aromatic. Mixture of herbs and spices. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. It smells really good. And that's not even the start yet, is it? Because we've got to add the chicken. You're not even recording. Oh, you <laughs> Yeah, I'm recording. I'm so jump, retarded. Jump cut. <laughs> right, the rice is now... It smells very nice. Nice colour. Now about to go in the strainer. And uh, you're just opening up another backwards bastard, aren't you? Now I'm curious to see if this one froths up. Oh, that one didn't. Oh, no, that one's fine. So, Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, it's going. Right. Right, yeah. That it's one does that it as bad. well. That one does it as well. I don't know if it's meant to do that or just, yeah, how it's been shaken about transporting because it's bottled like nearly two years ago. And I'm just waiting the... for the oil to heat up a bit. And I'm just going to let the rice sit for one or two minutes. That's just settling down, is before, it? Um, yeah, before I'm, I put through the strainer. And then the chicken's going on. Yeah, any so, moment now. So we'll get a nice sizzle. Just waiting for the oil to heat a bit. Yeah, it's almost here. Bring it back for the sizzle. Right here we go. The chicken. The chicken's going on. How long does the chicken have to cook for? I know till it's done, but uh, well, first I cook it till it browns, and then yeah. I add the sauce and let it simmer. I've got to be careful here. So I didn't know if you've got splash. a rough sort of time what it usually takes. Uh, around like five or six minutes for it to brown, and then I let it simmer for another four. 
I remember a few years ago, I, I spoke about this on stream once, I was at a friend's barbecue, and uh, what one person asked, oh, I never like to cook chicken on the barbecue because I'm always worried um, that it won't be cooked properly and I'll get ill, and, and she just said, um, so how long do you have to cook it for? And I, I just said, till it's done. <laughs> and I was just like, a couple of people were like, well, yeah, that's the right answer. You sort of know when it's cooked. Check in the middle, as long as there's no pink or red, I think you're pretty safe, you know. So, if you're worried, give it a bit extra. Nice, you know, char-grilled chicken on the barbecue. So, I've never been ill, but, yeah, I know it's absolutely... As I said earlier on this video, if you get ill from food poison, absolutely horrendous. It can be fatal, actually, can it? So, yeah, not something I want. So, there we go. Chicken cooking, and what will be after this? Oh, we need to put the rice through the strainer. Oh, uh, the rice is going through the strainer, and yeah, I'm just going to cook this chicken, and then guess put it all together and show you the end result. And I will eat and enjoy. Rice in the strainer. Smells very nice. Nice rice, smells nice. Turning the chicken. That smells nice as well already. Half it's raw. I haven't put the spices in yet. Should we just eat it like that? That, that would be a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. And it would probably taste quite vile. Yeah. Still, there's only probably a 98% chance of being ill. Some more ginger beer. Very nice. Not as nice as the one I bought recently. Um. can't think of the name some people know you know the one where you have to like pull the tab and then pop it off it tastes way nicer than this I think that's no 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 um i can't think it was called they didn't have any on amazon though and i couldn't be bothered to go to tesco's and buy some i can't think of the name of it but um people know it's in a glass bottle and it's got a really good pull tab on it so yeah this not a bad alternative i suppose yeah old jamaica yeah, just a few. Some of the spices Most have gone Most of the gone spices on. will go in uh, when I add the sauce, so they can mix in very evenly. Right. What do you think? Two teaspoons? Or is that going to be uh, way too garlicky? I'll leave it. I, I like I, garlic, so. I, I think one and a half will do that. One and a half teaspoons of garlic going in. Because it's very vinegary, so I don't want to add too much, otherwise it'll ruin the flavour. In three minutes' time, the sauce is going in. There we go, sauce is going in. This is the money shot. Got to reduce the heat. So do you know what I do? I put a little bit of water in the jar, shake it up and then put that in just to get all the residue around, but I'll leave it to you. I'm being Fred from I'm a Celebrity. Um, basically just, yeah, criticizing everything. And that's been quite funny actually. That's, that's actually like, you can tell how painful it is to him, can't you? That he was taking off the role of um yeah being the chef is this all gonna get stirred in now then yeah and i'm gonna add a bunch of spices so first i'm gonna just stir in the sauce a little bit oh look at that it smells so good that's what's supposed to do this this is this honestly this is one of my favorite meals full of protein as well it does, does it look like there's quite a lot of oil in there though to be fair it's a private joke, that is. Or as someone, I, someone I know who always says, oh no, can't have that, it's too oily, too oily, but that actually does look like there's tons of oil. <laughs> if you look, will that burn off? Yeah. It doesn't bother me, I mean, I like, I like oil. Here we go. The final spices, this is a... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, is that hot spice, or...? It's all gonna be hot. Oh, nice. Is it, is it... Some more of this with turmeric in. Is it good that it's bubbling away so furiously, or...? Yes. Right. It's simmering. That's Fresh bit, chilies. I think that's a bit more than simmering. It's like a volcanic eruption. It'll cool down as the sauce uh, sets in a bit. That smells actually really spicy. Garlic I think, uh, granules. I think maybe you're overdoing it. Extra bit. cayenne chili. Just being Fred again. 
You, you, you never put them. this much in you. No, know. I've actually put more before. Oh my gosh. Rico. Some more of this. No, I haven't actually put any mixed herbs in. He's overdoing yeah. it, guys. He's overdoing it. Well, we'll find out. I like them spicy, and uh, Hypes uh, is a bit of a wuss when it comes to that. No, no, I've been getting used to it. You, a couple of times you've I made this... I haven't added salt yet. Very important. A couple of times you've made this in the past, you were like, watch out, it's really hot, and I thought it was just... Exactly, and I've actually added more before, so you should be fine. Oh, all right, I'll be fine then. There you go, we just added about half the uh, cupboard in. And a tiny bit extra of these uh, lazy garlic. More garlic. Because it smelled quite nice. I think some of it went on the uh, cooker there. The very, very clean. Oh, that's right. I, I would cooker. say I would add a tiny pinch of this. Peri peri. Just because of Nando's. Is this going to get stirred now? Yep. I need to stir all this in and then. Um, Simmer for three minutes and that should be done. Nice. So the next is the end product? Pretty much, yeah. Good in there. Rice is going in. I might have an extra rice because I like rice. Probably, yeah. Yep, get in there. Mine's the left one. Get in there. I've got extra rice and I'm going to have extra chicken. Um, so, yeah, do some walk, walks tomorrow to uh, bur burn this off. Here we go. The smell. Uh, it does smell good. Now, honestly, this is one of my favorite meals. That is a huge portion. Oh my god. I did tell you I'll give you extra. Oh my god. That's like, that's gotta be like 1500 calories. Maybe more actually. I don't know. I mean, you can transfer it as some to mine if you want. I'll eat it, but you're, you don't have hardly any chicken. That just seems unfair. Look at that, it's like a mountain. It's like a mountain of chicken. That is a mountain of chicken. Transfer going on right now. There we go, and that's the end product. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably have a little taste on camera in a minute. Just, I'm gonna let it cool down. I don't like things like too- Oh yeah, the chicken will be very hot. Yeah, that's what I mean. Minutes. I don't like it like hot, hot. But the rice um, is uh, edible, so you The rice it. is edible. I'll try a bit of rice, one sec. Oh, let's have a little test of the rice. You don't put any salt over this then, because you already put it in. Yeah, it? it's all already very seasoned. All right, let's try a bit of this rice. One second. Yep, very nice, very nice. Let's try a bit of the rice with the sauce. I know the chicken's going to be good, so... Do you say it's very spicy? It should be not the worst you've tasted, but... Mmm, that is good. Been looking forward to this all day, actually. Very good. There we go. Um, chicken curry, tikka masala. Um, obviously using the sauce, but yeah, load of spices. Um, there you go. So uh, tomorrow is going to be my um, noodles, corned beef, and egg, and etc. etc. Or maybe even the day after tomorrow. It depends because I'm going out tomorrow down the city, so I may have some to eat down there. Uh, if not, I'll have the noodles at night. And with the spinach in and that, and yeah, a bit of mustard, and yeah, there we go. Um, thanks for watching so far. Now you're gonna enjoy this and uh, watch I'm a Celebrity, and yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So get in there. Right, YouTubers, it is the 5th of December now. Uh, I'm just going to feed Buddy, because I think he's a bit hungry. Yeah, you want some food? Yeah, just feed him, then I'll, I'll continue. Right, 5th of November, uh, what did I have today? Well, I had to go down the city, and while I was there, doing a couple of bits, um, I did actually go in the bank to sort that, um, if... Um, I think I spoke about it on this video to sort out the debit card issue. Uh, hopefully getting a new debit card in, in two or three weeks time. Probably won't be before Christmas. So yeah, fingers crossed, third time lucky. Doesn't get cloned again. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have to use a different bank anyway. Because um, somehow they're getting the details. 
pain in the arse, but oh well, what can you do? And yeah, while I was down there, went to a little calf, had uh, what was called the ultimate Christmas dinner, which was like a sort of Christmas dinner. Um, I'll put a couple of pictures on actually, obviously I wasn't going to talk to myself in a busy calf. Uh, there was a group of people being really loud. Oh my God, this woman, her, her laugh was just, I mean, it's over the top loud. But I don't know, maybe she had a hearing aid or something. Or just, I don't know, it's really loud. And as soon as they left, it was just so quiet. And everyone was like, oh, it's just got quiet in here all of a sudden. Like hysterical laughter. Like uh, Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Um, yeah, so I had this Christmas dinner sandwich. I'll put a couple of pictures up. He yeah, had like turkey stuff and that was really nice. Uh, um, three or four cups of tea in there. That's all I've had all day. And while I was there, got some soap. Bring back the soap. Um, we've got some almond soap. Smells very strong. There's three bars in there. TK Maxx special. And as it's Christmas, um, winter pine Christmas scented soap bar, which smells... Uh, yeah, very nice. Look at the gold stars they put on there. Look, look at that. It's a shame to use it. And there's all like glitter stuff in here. Made in England, twisted toffee apple, luxury soap. Uh, four pound each, these were. And that smells, that actually smells really nice. Yeah, thought I'd bung that in. I know it's been a bit of a novelty in the past, me of my soap collection. Um... Boom, TK Maxx special. Haven't been in there in ages. Used to actually like really just like going in there. But uh, yeah, I thought why not? Um, bit of nostalgia, I suppose. So, we're continuing the lucky streak. Picked up a couple of Scotch eggs, 71 pence. They actually had about 20 there. I thought, no, I'll just buy two um, per Scotch egg. What we got in here? 276 calories. So what I'm thinking for my tea tonight, I'm a bit hungry, did go out for a walk. I'm going to have two scotch eggs. I'm, I'm doing the egg noodles later. I hope that spinach is still right. Now two scotch eggs. I'm going to have half a cucumber. <laughs> 13p, I mean, it's ridiculous. Half a cucumber uh, with some salad cream. Why not? Just making this up as I go. Um, also... Got some garden salad for 15p, so I'm gonna have that as well. All good for you. Um, salad, you can't go wrong, can you? Saving the spinach, hope it's still all right. Um, for the egg noodles and my mix up of corned beef and that, which yeah, I keep going on about it. I haven't done it yet, gonna have it tomorrow. Um, yeah, so two scotch eggs, cucumber, salad, salad cream, and yeah, maybe. Oh, I tell you what, I'll have one of my. If this is still all right, one of my special drinks I make. Um, well, it's not really special. Most people probably think it's absolutely revolting. Um, I will give you the, well, it's not really a recipe. It's just, it's free ingredients. Uh, what I'll do is, um, that was not me, by the way, all that mess. Uh, someone was cooking sausages, I think. Uh, yeah, what I'll do is I will do the drink and I need some lime juice and apple cider vinegar, a tiny bit. Um, it's not a drink like, it's not a pleasurable drink. It's more sort of a, it's supposed to be like good for you, I guess. Why not, let's have a, I'm gonna have a strong one. I'm gonna put a lot of ginger cordial in it. And then what I'm gonna do is, yeah, just cut these up, a bit of mustard, cut half of that up, salad cream, and then season this with some like garlic salt or something. Yeah, and have a little salad. So, uh, no garlic. Um, yeah, that'll be good. I'll, I'll do that now. And maybe a couple of scratch cards as well. Why not? All right, firstly, for my drink, I'm just going to run the tap so it's nice and chilled. And I'm going to put a large... Um, yep, yeah, still smells all right. A large dose of ginger cordial. It says keep me in the fridge. That's what I'll do. That's what I've been doing. And then you just want a dash. I have shaken this by the way. A dash of lime juice. And I mean a dash. And then really mean a dash of apple cider vinegar. Or a bit, <laughs> a bit more than I wanted to put in. But And then 
Um, I don't usually do this, but just to give it an extra bit of sweetness. Um, so it's quite sort of bitter really. It's just a little bit of brown sugar. Probably a bit more than I wanted to again. And let's try a tiny bit of cinnamon as well. Just a tiny bit of step, that'll do. And basically, fill that up. Let's give it a little, little mix. Fill that up with water, tap water. Just shut that tap off. Let's use the messy sink. I can, I can literally, I can clean every day and this place just gets a mess. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, yeah, give that a good stir. And that is what you call the ginger cordial with a bit of acidity, apple cider vinegar, and lime juice. Probably sounds revolting, but this video is turning very random, isn't it? You know, all the different things and yeah. Gross a few people out, why not? Let's give it a taste. I'll probably have a can of ginger beer and watch I'm a celebrity, to be honest. Um, yeah, see what this tastes like. I'll be honest if it tastes like crap. Uh, yeah, just, just a taste of ginger, ginger cordial, really, with a bit of a, you could even get, you sort of get the lime after. Um, the cinnamon, never tried it with the cinnamon. Yeah, it's just, it's just a strong sort of drink. Uh, I don't know, apple cider. Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, I probably wouldn't have the cinnamon in the future. That comes like weird. I don't know. It's making like a weird texture. Uh, no, it's drinkable. It's an acquired taste. Yeah, apple cider vinegar is supposed to be good for you, isn't it? So I don't know. Probably um, dissolve in my stomach or something. It's probably bad for you. But anyway, I've got a plate. Going to whack this on the plate and enjoy the salad. I'll get those two scratch cards as well. You ready? Instant, instant salad. Bang. That is an instant, literally an instant salad. Um, Gotta add some uh, garlic salt and a tiny bit of pepper if I can find it. This is the pepper, isn't it? Oh, oh dodgy, dodgy. We got it, we got it. Didn't knock anything over. Well, I was going to bung some of this on. Can't do it one-handed, obviously. Right, that's salt and peppered up. Bit of salad cream. So I like salad cream. Full fat salad cream as well. Add on the calories. I'll probably like mix all that up as well. And I'm going to have half of that cucumber and cut the two scotch eggs with mustard. Here we go, not really too fast on presentation, and I'm actually gonna give the uh, fish a couple of slices of uh, cucumber. Just leave that in boiling water for one or two minutes so it sinks in the tank. The pleco will like that. I need my mustard. Did buy some more mustard as well. Look. Whole grain, don't know the difference. Texture maybe, I don't know. Right, mustard time. I have a craving for mustard. Raving for mustard, and the jar is nearly empty. This can go on the Scotch eggs. Dollop, dollop, more dollop, more dolloping, dolloping. Yeah, this is my tea tonight, and we need a bit more. There we go. All right, there we go. So, cucumber, salad cream, garden salad, instant. Bargain. This was, what, what was this, like less than... 70, 80, 80, 1 pound 60. What is this? Less than like three quid. Less than three quid. Well, with the must. Yeah, it'd be about right, wouldn't it? Three quid. Wow. On a budget meal food. Meal food? On a budget meals? I don't know. Something. Right. I uh, don't want your vinegar. No. Um, need to put them in the tank. And yeah, just finishing off with the two scratch cards. So big. I'm not going to start eating on camera. That that, honestly, that sandwich part, I do apologise for that. Um, I'm probably going to leave it in, but I'll put a little warning that there's eating and breathing noises on it. I don't know why the camera picked up so much. Like, it sounded like I was out of breath eating a sandwich. It's ridiculous. I bet it's because the phone, maybe it was so close. 
Um, yeah, horrible sounds. So apologies for that. Yeah, I'm not going to start eating on on a camera. Oh, it's a cute camera, isn't it? What more can you say? Um, yeah, that's uh, looks like a lot there for yeah three quid. Um, yeah, so feed the fish, do the scratch cards, and I'm going to enjoy this and watch. I'm a celebrity. Let's have some more of this ginger cordial. Yeah, it's not something I make a habit of drinking, I must admit. I'd give that maybe like a 3 out of 10. Purely because there might be some health benefits, I don't know. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments that um, apple cider vinegar does absolutely nothing. I'll wash this up later. Look at the mess. The mess. Right, feed the fish, do the scratch cards, and we are done. All right, let's go for a couple more of these uh, 100Xs with some uh, lucky soap as well. Scratch it off, see if we win. Yep, unless I am not seeing it correctly, not a sausage. There we go. Okay, here we go, the grand finale. Uh, this is either going to be very nice or not very nice. I uh, just got back from another walk. So it's the, oh, washing machine going off. It's the 6th of December. Uh, the spinach says the second. The noodles says the third. Um, use by dates. Oh, I'm going to be ill and I'm going to be ill. That'll be fine. Um, this cucumber's looking a bit... Sorry for itself. Right, so garlic, cucumber, spinach, noodles, got three eggs, some corned beef. Now the plan is to boil three eggs. I'm going to do them for seven minutes. And how long do these noodles take? Microwave. Cut corner off bag. Place on microwavable plate. Microwave full power one minute. Leave to stand. All right. Oh, no, actually, sorry. Uh, three minutes, then stand for one minute. That'll be easy. So, microwave plate. We haven't got one. And where are the plates gone? This is, this is actually ridiculous. I think I know where they're gone. Right, I'm going to wash a plate up. One second. Okay, what I'm going to do is, while I'm waiting for the eggs to boil, um, well, the water's nearly boiled, actually. I need to get a move on. Uh, I need to get this right in my head. So, I'm doing the noodles. Putting the noodles on a plate, um, then I'm going to have diced boiled eggs, yes, with corned beef chunks on top. Oh no, actually, I don't know, I'm going to make up as I go along. I don't even know what I'm doing here. This is such a random uh, meal. Right, I'm going to uh, do the noodles now and cut this stuff up. All right. All right, starting to boil there. I've got the cucumbers. Just going to put a little bit of black pepper and garlic salt on those. And just a tiny bit of sour cream. Just a tiny bit. Won't be needing that much longer. And maybe just a dash, and I mean a dash, of uh, sarsens. Sarsen's vinegar. Yep, just a tiny bit. Right, eggs. Now going to time seven minutes. That's perfect. Okay. Um, chop garlic and put noodles in microwave and then put the spinach in the microwave. And uh, yeah, open the corned beef, slice a bit of that up into cubes, um, slice the eggs up and basically just have noodles with eggs, uh, corned beef, mustard with some spinach on top. I assume it'll taste nice, we'll find out. Right, noodles are in, three minutes, chop the garlic up, very thick chunks, don't really care. Um, yep, better open this mustard up because it's unopened. And then when the eggs are done, cut the eggs up. And uh, while I'm waiting for that, nice refreshing ginger beer. There we go. Go, here we go. Eggs are bubbling away. Let that 
the stand and then it said pierce the bag a couple of times and how, how long are we putting this in for? Two minutes, stand one minute. Easy. Bung that in there. And there we go. Right, I'm just going to cut the rest of this corned beef up. Having a lot of corned beef. That'll keep me going for the rest of the night. Yep, get in there. I'll do, I've, I've had an idea, so I couldn't speak then. <laughs> I've had an idea. I'm actually going to mix up. I'm going to put all these in. I'll drop one. I dropped one. Cat can have that. Um, I'm going to put all these in a bowl with the garlic and then I'm going to put the egg in as well and mix that all with mustard and then just put that on top of the noodles I think. I was going to do it a bit different but I think this will work out a bit better. Um, there we go. Um, might just give that a bit of seasoning as well actually and I'll probably put the mustard in because the eggs need to come off in about a minute. Let's have some. I'll do the herbs last, actually. Uh, now I'll wait till the eggs are in before I stir it all. I'm going to put the noodles on the plate now. There we go. Look at that steaming, steaming, steaming noodles. This is so random. Right, I'm just going to uh, just cut that up just a little bit. Because we're not having spaghetti here. We're having egg noodles with random stuff put on it. Turn the eggs off, they need to be peeled. The spinach is now done. Okay, it's actually, my plan is coming together. Right, well, that'll do. We're not bothered about presentation. Presentation, presentation, whatever. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of seasoning on and then get the spinach out and peel these eggs. Because they are done. The bag is inflated, the bag has inflated. Slowly going down like a flat tire. Country of origin, Spain. Well, wow. right. Um, this is going to be just garnish on top, really. So that can just sit there for a bit. Oh, I need to peel these eggs. Oh, I hate peeling eggs. So boring. Right. Bring you back once they're peeled, and then they're going in there once they're uh, cut up a bit. All right, there we go. Eggs are uh, eggs are uh, done. Mixed herbs. Um, I'm gonna put some pepper in, some garlic salt in, and I think three or four teaspoons of whole grain mustard. Mix it all up, add it on top, give it a slight mix, put the spinach on top. Random, will it work? We shall see. And then I think I'll end with uh, one scratch card. And then I'm going to enjoy the food. And watch I'm a celebrity probably. So, yep, nearly there, nearly there. Just to prove I'm doing this. One, two, probably too much, but oh well. Actually, I think three will be enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already, uh, yeah, I'm already thinking. I haven't actually tried whole grain mustard. Them are uh, seeds. Assume they're seeds. Um, do they give it a bit more, a bit more kick? I guess I'm going to find out now. Right, give this a mix. Okay, what have I made? I call this the corned beef egg noodle mashup. That's a good name for it. Okay, let's see if this works. And here we go, a nice plate of what could be described as looking like dog food. Um, oh, that's a lot of spinach there. <laughs> this is just, my idea for spinach presentation is going out the window. Um, yeah, I was hoping it would be in smaller bits. <laughs> it was reduced in the shop, I bought it. I'm having it. Right. Um, yeah, I should maybe chop up the spinach a bit, but sod it. I'll just have some, uh, I'll have some, um, I don't know, some bits of corned beef with spinach to sort of, you know. All right, let's try it. Have I overdone it on the mustard? We've got some noodles there. Is it a fail? Is it a win? It looks like a fail. We'll find out. 
Sorry about the noise. Apologies. Mm, very watery with the spinach. Try to aim the camera away. Yeah, corned beef is there. Mustard isn't very strong. That's good. Um, the noodles, very soggy. Don't know if that's because they're a bit out of date um, or because I microwave them. I'm going to happily eat that. Um, yeah, I like corned beef. Really strong flavour of corned beef. Probably because I put in the whole tin. Um, no idea how many calories are in that. Never mind. Yeah, this is my meal for tonight. Get in there, the grand finale. Whoa. Yep, egg, noodle, egg, corned beef, egg, mash up, egg. That's what I'll call it. Some ginger beer. It works, it works. And it's on a budget. Right, let's finish with a scratch card. And that concludes. Um, thanks for watching, uh, especially if you watched it all, as I always say. And on a future episode, maybe gourmet pot noodles or something. Um, but I haven't had pot noodles in ages. Maybe when I do my next uh, apocalyptic shot, get a bunch of tinned food and pot noodles and, yeah, maybe try pot noodles with mustard as I'm, I'm addicted to mustard all of a sudden. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy this. Let's do one scratch card and we will conclude. If I don't upload uh, any more videos before Christmas, hope everyone has a good one. And, uh, yeah. Time with your family and nice meals and a few drinks if you drink or soft drinks, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward. Uh, this year's gone quick. I know loads of people say that, but it really has. I think next year's going to be a good one. So, yeah, if I don't upload before then, all the best. Have a good new year. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, see all comments, respond where I can, and, uh, yeah, that's it really, so get in there, scratch card to follow, and over and out.